to Perfectly Normal, a podcast that brings you love, courage, and connection. And I'm your host, Michelle. I'm a life coach, artist, author, and pharmacist. I'm the founder of Elevate Life Coaching. It's a seminar and coaching company. Let's jump right into the show. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me this week. Um, so over the weekend, I went up to San Francisco. Um, so I did two things. I went and visited my sister and her two little boys. They're, they're so cute, so amazing. The youngest one is only two years old, and he is just really adorable. They were here over the holiday, but, um, you know, I, 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 we built bond that's so strong that I went up there and they were just going around calling me Auntie Michelle and they were just chasing me. So adorable. And the other thing, you know, the main purpose of me making that trip was really to go up there and volunteer at the coaching program that I had graduated from. So it's uh, IPEC, it's Institute of Professional Excellency in Coaching. That's what it stands for. And it's an uh, International Coaching Federation accredited school. So I got my certification through IPEG. And IPEG created a really strong program. And I love it. I can't, I can't say enough of a good thing about it. So if you're ever thinking about you know, going into coaching yourself, I would highly recommend checking out their program because it's very inclusive. And you walk through, you experience the, the same program that you would be providing to your clients. So you know how powerful it is to, to have someone to coach you, to guide you, to partner with you. Um, <clears throat> so what, what's really unique about IPEC is the Energy Leadership Index Assessment. And so initially, when I first enrolled to the program, I kind of knew that, oh, well, there's something that's big coming it's proprietary it's one of the kind but i wasn't i didn't have a clear understanding of like what it was um so when i when i first took my uh eli or the energy leadership index assessment when i saw the result it was really shocking i was really angry because i felt like i did so much of personal development how could that score be so low and so if, if you're not familiar with the energy leadership co uh, uh, index assessment, I suggest you to take a look on my website because there's a lot of information on my website. I talk about, you know, what is energy leadership index and how it measure, basically in a, in a very simple word, it measures your current perception or what kind of filter you've been wearing or carrying, you know, throughout your life up until this point and how that filter is stopping you from seeing the opportunity or seeing things from a different perspective or perhaps you know the filter that you're wearing has been helping you in doing being successful um to the point where you are today so it works both ways you know the filter that we carry throughout our life up until this point it can really have play into a factor in terms of how how much we use in our potential so the assessment itself will, will, it consists of a total of 84, 83 questions, and it doesn't involve a lot of analytical process. So you just have to sit down in front of a computer and just answer those questions to your best ability. And don't even analyze it. Don't think about it. So answer it as if you would normally answer um, on that assessment. And take about 10, 10, 15 minutes. I have a couple of clients who like, I assigned it to them. They finished it within five minutes. So it's really quick and it's a very accurate assessment. And I was really shocked on how accurate it, it, it was. It, it is. And when I got my result back the first time, I was really shocking, like I said, because it measures your current perception of how you see things, how you see your life and how you approach your life. Um, so being the fact that I had already do a lot of self-development work and I was in a place where, well, this can't be right. I mean, why is my score so low? So at the end of the assessment, what you'll get is an average resonating level of energy. So basically that it's, that number is really not, it doesn't mean that much. Um, it's a number. And the highest number is seven and the lowest number is one. And it's a reflection, it's a uh, compiled data that 
each one of us carry from level one to level seven energy. And if you're not familiar with the uh, different level of energy, I suggest you go back to a um, couple of pre my previous podcasts where I talk about energy leadership where I really specifically talk about, you know, what level one is, level two, level three. Um, so the average resonated level energy is your score that combines both the, uh, your, how you respond in stress situation and versus, you know, if things are going well, what is your average resonating uh, level of energy in when things are going well? So it's a combination of everything and uh, you have a number. So typically, what the data suggests is that there's actually research data that you can, you can look at. The higher your average resonating level of energy, the more satisfaction you get in your life. So whether it's finance, relationship, personal development, you get higher satisfaction associated when you have higher ARL or average resonating level of energy. So the first time I took it, it was really low. It was like three point something, which is still, you know, a little higher than, um, um, you know, like someone who's never done any personal development and they are in that level one, level two energy. It's all victim. It's about, you know, blaming and, you know, feeling of guilt, low, low self-esteem. So I wasn't just a little, little higher than that, but still I got that number and I was angry which is really normal. And, and we all have that anger, anger and victim energy, no matter where you are. Um, so the, this is my second time by going, going up there to volunteer this weekend, I actually get a chance to take my uh, ELI again. So I had a second chance to look at my ELI and look at my own score. And of course, and you know, being a coach, I'm the one who's uh, analyzing and debriefing my clients on this. So a lot of what I see and how I feel, and, and I was just looking at my own report, I felt, oh, yeah, it is pretty accurate. <laughs> so, so oftentimes, um, how you respond and how you react to the world, it's depend, you, you have a choice. Right, so we can choose how we want to show up in the world, and depending on how you choose um, from these seven different levels, your your perspective will be completely different. Your your thinking, your your feeling, your emotion, your core emotion, your core action will be completely different. Um, so, <clears throat> what happened was um, my my score this time after a year since I last took it. So after a year of taking the ELI, this is my second time taking it. And it felt weird <laughs> because um, the fact that, you know, I'm, I, I can see on the score that I'm, I'm at a higher level, I'm resonating at a higher level. And which also bring up in the fact that, you know, during the class, one of the students had asked, is it ever possible to live without negative self-talk and be okay with it or or you know does it ever come to a point where you become it become part of you and it just is and you don't have a lot of you know um that negativity um shows up anymore and and it was not my place to jump in because I'm a volunteer. So it was not my place to jump in and talk about, you know, this during the class. But I can share with you now that having gone through that and training my own negative self-talk, I can, I can tell you that it's a different experience in life. So once you start exercising your, your, your muscle, your mental muscle, what ends up happening is you have a greater ability of how to control your emotion or how to respond in a situation under stress. So a lot of what the ELI was measuring is how you respond to a situation that's considered as stressful, right? A lot of us respond by becoming the victim. We are becoming the victim of the event, um, our own thoughts, our own emotion, and, and sometimes we get angry. So most of us will go into that default mode of, I am the victim. Oh, things happen to me. But then depending on your, um, your, your ability to tap out of it and whether or not you have that 
awareness and consciousness to tap yourself, move yourself or shift yourself or your own energy into a different space and different level. That, that is really the primary goal of a core energy coaching, right? Because what I'm teaching you is not so much of how to avoid the negativity, but when negativity shows up, how do you navigate out of that struggle, of that challenge, so that you can actually shift your own energy when I'm not there. Because I don't imagine people hiring me, you know, working one-on-one for the rest of their life, which I would love that, but that is not my goal. My goal is to teach you the skill so that you can be able, you'll be able to, you know, shift your own energy from one space to another. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, and, you know, I've been using these skills on myself as well because I, I'm a human and I have a lot of challenge and, and there's a lot of, you know, judgment that I'm facing still up until this day, every single day. But the fact that, you know, I have the skill now to, to tap myself out of that space of judgment, tap myself out of that space of how I used to respond to a stressful situation, I can see life from a different perspective, from a different angle. So when my EOI came out, I was really shocked because in my stress, how I, how I respond to a situation in a stressful situation is that a lot of time I would default to that victim energy like everyone else, right? But then I had that ability. What, what showed up for me was that level five energy <clears throat> in my stress situation. So the minute, which means that the minute I perceive something being stressful, I go into that default of victim mode, but immediately I start to see opportunity. And that level five uh, energy is about opportunity, whether or not you see a situation as something that's challenging or do you, do you immediately tap into the solution side? Well, yes, you know, I am the victim of this situation, but how can I turn it so that it works for me rather than against me? So I was looking at my own report, I was really shocked how true it reflects how I respond to situation nowadays versus, you know, a year ago, I responded it completely differently. And it's just amazing. And it's felt so powerful. I, I end up asking one of my peer coach to actually give me a debrief. And this is the reason why a coach needed a coach, because we all need from, to see things from a different, different perspective. And what came out of my own report is that um, I have energy blocks around finance, around money. So yesterday I asked my peer coach to actually coach me around my energy to my money or my relationship to money. What is it about money that's blocking me? You know, what is my perception about money? Where, where, how did I show up in terms of my relationship to money? And, and I can tell you that, you know, as I was being coached by my peer coach, you know, we talk about, and I was expressing this to my coach and then, and then she's like, well, did you just hear, you know, how you are expressing in the words that you use? I say, yeah. That's where the awareness comes in. I'm like, yeah, I didn't realize how much level one and level two energy I was carrying. I was angry. I was blaming. I was being victim. And all of it has to do with just finance. So you can imagine looking at your life and looking at each different, um, I guess, section of your life and how each one can play so much into, into the outcome that you get in your life so just one little tiny piece of finance it was creating some you know energy block and I was feeling it I was being stressed out I was overwhelmed I feel anxious and by releasing it like today it's a completely different picture I was texting um, my peer coach today I said you know guess what because I released that money energy Today, I just signed three clients. Um, <clears throat> so it was very interesting to use, how, to use that tool and to be able to use it on the, on the client and also to myself. All these uh, skills that I have learned, I'm, I, and like, what I can say is that it really worked. And I believe in it. <laughs> so I went up and, and I volunteered um, at the uh, coaching program. And it was a last module live module that they all the students had to do and sooner or later they're going to be graduating certified and that's 
I'm really glad that I was able to, I was given the opportunity to go up there to be a volunteer and to be able to like really hear the material for the second time and looking at it, hearing it from a different perspective than, you know, being the student, seeing that chair and being all nervous about, you know, getting certified and getting, passing my final exam and all that. So given the opportunity of listening to the same material on the second time, I felt like there's so much, so much value in all the things, all the tools, all the skills that they have taught us. And, you know, now is my chance to, to practice them, to use them and to help others you know, overcoming that negative self-talk. And, and hopefully this is something that they can walk away with and, and be able to use it for the rest of their life. This is something that's sustainable. So that was my story over the weekend. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Hey, thanks for joining me this week on Perfectly Normal. Make sure to visit my website at elevatelifecoaching.org. And if you found values in this show, I appreciate a rating on iTunes and Spotify. Or you can simply tell a friend about the show that will really help me too. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. And be sure to tune in next week for our next episode.